Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes and Cardio.com. Today on the channel, I'm going to be baking you a cheesecake right from scratch. It's very simple, it's very easy, and I know that everybody watching is going to be able to do it themselves. So I've just decorated it up a little bit, put some fresh fruit on the top, but that's totally up to you. You can put whatever you'd like on the top, and I know you're going to love this, so join me in making this delicious cheesecake. Okay, so for the crust, you're going to need one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. You're going to need a quarter cup of butter, which will be melted, and you're going to need half a cup of sugar. Now for the filling, you're going to need 16 ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. You're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs, and two thirds of a cup of granulated sugar. And now for the topping, you're going to need one cup of sour cream, two tea tablespoons of granulated sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So that's all the ingredients that you're going to, going to need. We're going to put the crust together first. So the first thing for our crust is what we're going to do is combine the graham cracker crumbs and the sugar. Give that a quick mix. And then we're going to add in our melted butter. So once you have this all mixed together, you're going to put it into um, a, a, like a, a cheesecake pan, or you can even use just a regular pie plate if that's all that you have. So once I've got this all mixed and I've got the butter lumps out, you just wanna make sure that you just work those with the back of the spoon. I'll be back to show you how to press it into the pan. So just to be clear, because on the video it does look like my pan has no bottom, it really does. It is a glass bottom here, and I've sprayed it with nonstick spray. If you don't have any spray, you can use vegetable oil or margarine or butter to make sure the sides and the bottom of your pan aren't going to stick to your cheesecake. So in first is going to go the crust. I'm gonna just dump it all in here, and then I'm gonna spread it out I'm just going to press it down so it becomes a, like hard packed here. And if you want to use your fingers, it's a little bit easier. So I'm just going to work this all around until it's nice and flat. And then I'm going to come back with my mixer ready and I'm going to make the cheesecake filling. So with the crust off to the side, next up I'm going to make the cream cheese filling. So first up, I'm going to cream the cream cheese. And I'm just going to do that until it's nice and soft. And then I'll be right back. So after the cream cheese has been mixed, I'm going to add in my two eggs and I'll mix that again. And I'm going to put in my vanilla. Then I'm going to stop it, scrape the sides, and then I'll add the sugar. So I'm just going to gradually add the sugar. And I'm going to keep it mixing until almost all the lumps are gone. So I'm going to turn it on, it will take a couple of minutes. And when I come back, it will be mostly lump three free. You just want to make sure that there's not giant clumps of the cream cheese in your um, filling. So the filling layer has been completely mixed and what I'm going to do now is just dump it on top of the crust. So I'm gonna to wanna to start to work from the middle here and I'm just going to slowly kind of work it right out to the edges. Just going around. 
And then you want to pop this into a preheated oven, which is going to be 375 degrees Celsius, or Fahrenheit, sorry, that would be very hot. And it's going to bake for 25 minutes. So when it's finished, I will bring it out and show you what's next. So the first stage of making the cheesecake is finished, but we still have one more to go. But before we put it back into the oven, um, the cheesecake has to cool to room temperature. So I'm just going to put it aside and I'm going to come back and show you how to make the final topping layer. For the topping layer, we're going to take our one cup of sour cream and we're going to mix it with the sugar and the vanilla. So I'm going to stir this until it's incorporated and when my cheesecake has come down to room temperature, I'll be back to show you how to put it onto the top. So once your cheesecake has come down to room temperature, you're going to take your cream cheese topping and just like you did putting the filling layer on top of the crust, I'm just going to start in the middle, dumping everything into on top here. And then I'm going to start in the middle working my way out. So while you're doing this, you want to make sure your oven is preheating to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're going to pop this final step into the oven for another 10 minutes and then the cheesecake will be finished. So the cheesecake has finished baking and it's absolutely delicious just plain as it is because of that topping that we put on with the sour cream. But I'm just going to add some fresh blueberries and strawberries so if you're going to serve it for some guests, I'll just give you a quick easy way to do that. So if you want to slice the strawberries just in tiny little segments, almost right up to the stem, I'm just slicing them fairly thin so I'm going to fan them out on the top of the cheesecake. I just want to make sure I've gotten them right down to the stem here. And then I'm just going to open it up and spread it out on the top here. And then I'm going to cut some more and we're going to also add some of the fresh blueberries and I'll be back to show you the finished product. So there we have it. I cut three more strawberries and put a nice little pile of fresh blueberries in the center. So this is a very easy way to impress any guests you might have for a dessert. And it's been, um, it's a very simple cheesecake topped with some fresh fruit. So I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial today. So thanks for watching everybody. Remember to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up if you liked what you saw today. And you can find us on Twitter, Google Plus, and on Facebook. And I'll see you next time.